Sean Sewell with InGearMit.com in the mountains of Colorado testing out three wireless microphone systems. DJI wireless microphone system, the Hollyland new version, and of course a tried and true wireless Go 2, which I actually have five sets of these because I use them all the time. So in this review, I'm gonna show you the sound differences and what I like about each system and how I use them. So let's get into it. First, we are using the DJI microphone system right now. It's a really awesome system. I really like it for a lot of reasons. One, it comes in this self-charging case, USB-C charging right there. And then on the inside is where you'll see the receiver goes right there, microphone one, microphone two. They all sit in there really nice, charged, and they sync up automatically. Very nice, the only draw it back that I can see that I don't like is the windscreens are completely separate so you cannot put the windscreen on here which I use almost all the time when I'm outside you can't close the case with the windscreen on that's the only downside I can see with the DJI system for about half the price maybe a third of the price we have the new Hollyland system and it much like I have a lot of microphones in my pockets much like the DJI comes in a small case right there and I will show you compared to the DJI. The DJI is bigger, more substantial. And these little Hollyland microphones, I picked them up for like 130 bucks. Looks a lot like the DJI. Not as robust of a case as the DJI, but better than the cheap Rode ones out there. And then you see microphones one and two and the receiver, and they instantly turn on. And it's even smaller than the DJI microphone. Now the audio I don't think is as good, but for most people, most situations, this Hollyland will serve you well. I've actually defaulted to using it for my um, fitness videos and Zoom calls because it's so easy and it's not as bulky. The DJI is right in the middle, so the DJI microphone is nice and small. Compare that to the Rode microphone, it is a lot, lot smaller. So there is the Rode and the DJI. The DJI is so much smaller. Compare that to the HoloLand microphone, and the HoloLand is actually smaller. Boom. Okay, so I've shown you all these little things. How do they sound? So again, the entirety of this video so far has been shot with the DJI microphone. Part two, I'll go into the Rode, and then part three, the HoloLand little tiny guy. So let's do it. Part two, Rode Wireless Go 2, in this case. Microphone. So how's this audio sound compared to the DJI microphone? Um, I actually love the Rode system. I've been using it every day for the last two years. I've used it for almost every video you've seen on our YouTube channel. I've used it for our podcast. I've used it for Zoom calls. I've used it when I've been hired professionally for uh, audio video production with Pavel, Brett Jones, Strong First, uh, other presenters. It works. What I like about it is you can see the, the meter on the top, so you can look at your camera and see the meter going on. Uh, it's robust. They've, I've dropped them in snow. I've kicked them. I've, they've been through the ringer. They still work. Battery life is decent. Uh, I know on paper they're probably going to claim like seven or eight hours. I feel like five hours of hardcore use is about average, so that is why I have five sets of them. So if I'm micing up two or three people, I have a rotation of additional microphones to record for eight to ten hours. So this is a Rode Wireless Go 2. Things I like about it besides what I mentioned is also you can leave the windscreen on because you're not putting in a charging case. You're just gonna have it dangling off of the camera and charging via USB-C. They're all the same size. Um, you know they're on, on you when you put them on. Downsides are they are sizable. So oftentimes if a person has a colored shirt or a looser shirt, it's gonna kind of flop. Um, and so it's not ideal for those situations, which is why I like the DJI and especially that Hollyland. It just stays in place. It's super discreet. Um, and like I mentioned, I, I do online fitness classes and, and training. So that's the Hollyland is my go-to for that because it doesn't move around. I've used the road, like I said, every day for that situation, but I feel like the Hollyland is a nice upgrade for that. Part three, let's do the Hollyland. Part three, the Hollyland system. It's super small. Um, it doesn't get in the way. I can clip it to anything. It feels better on my person than the DJI and especially better than the Rode Wireless Go 2. Like I mentioned, I uh, use it for my fitness classes. It doesn't move around. I don't know that the audio will be as good a quality as the DJI or the Rode. 
Um, I guess this video, that's why I'm shooting this for myself as well as our riders and then of course the rest of the world this benefits you. Awesome, give us a thumbs up. But really I just wanna see how this sounds and shooting this of course outdoors. There is a um, background noise canceling function. I'm not gonna use that. I don't usually like those. They often garble things up and make things sound a little too more digitally, too digitally. So here it is, Hollyland microphone right there. Very, very tiny. Um, I can't tell you the battery life. Um, I just put it back in the case and it charges. Um, of course the case will run out of battery, battery power at some point, so I'll charge the case. But I've used this I would say for six hours so far with the case and it has not died yet. So, and it clips very easily right there. All right, let's get to the conclusion, part four. Part four, conclusion, final thoughts. I'm shooting this with the DJI microphone right now. Let's go over that first. The DJI is awesome, the audio is fantastic. Uh, you can internally re record, which I don't use. Comes with this nice robust case that also charges. Everything fits in there except for the wind muffs. If the wind muff could fit on the microphone while it's in the case, this would be my favorite by far, and I would use it all the time. Although I have been using it extensively with the A7 IV, which I'm currently doing for the last several weeks. The Rode, Rode Wireless Go 2, this guy right here, I think has just as good audio. Um, I like this system just because it's simple. I don't have to have it in a charging case. I can keep the windscreen or the wind muff on here at all times. How I usually have it is one without the windscreen and one with the windscreen, uh, which I'm not currently on right now. And then I just keep them clipped on each other and I can charge it USB-C and I'm good to go. I have five sets of these. I use them for the last two years every day. They work great. Downsides are a little bit bulkier than the DJI to take up more space. Um, so yeah, the, the DJI and Rode I think are equal in sound quality. And then we have the Hollyland. This is the case it comes with. It's half the price, if not less than half the price than the other ones. And on the inside you will see it comes with Charging cable, adapter for a phone, which is nice. Um, so you can plug it into a tablet, phone, if we have the dongle adapter. The cable, you'll need to plug into a regular camera. The windscreens, which I would recommend for outdoor use. And then, of course, the charging case, which fits in the box. So let's get into the charging case, and you will see, compared to the DJI, this case is actually smaller. Got a lot of microphones. So there it is again, like I showed you earlier. So this is smaller because the microphone is smaller. Receiver and the two microphones. I think this is a great option for people on a budget um, and it's adequate for Zoom. I use it professionally for that reason. It's smaller than even the DJI is. It plays nicely with your clothing, um, doesn't fumble around like the Rode does. It's, it's more conspicuous. And uh, for the money especially, it's fantastic. So. This I use every day now for the Zoom and like online classes, like I mentioned. And I'll use the DJI and the Rode for the professional work where it's static and I don't have to worry about space and convenience. But I love it. You open the case and they are on. So you just clip it in, good to go. Price less than 150 bucks, less than half the price of the Rode or the DJI. So that the, if you want to save the money, get good enough sound, as you determine from this video if that's good enough for you, then near. I'll put a link for this below. Hopefully seeing these three, hearing these three microphones has been helpful determining which one's right for you and seeing the features that I use and what I think about them. It's my opinion. Um, hopefully you find it helpful. Uh, if you have any questions or especially if you have experience um, and which one would you like to go with for what reasons, put that in the comments below and help us all as an international community learn together. Um, hopefully this has been helpful. It's been a lot of fun shooting this. Gotta get to be outside. I'm Sean Sewell, owner and director of Stoke for Engearment.com. And until next time, take care.